Hello everyone. One of the biggest requests that people have been asking of me is uh, which version of MAME 2003 should I install that have the best compatibility? As you're all aware of by now, I have three different MAME 2003 variants in my core set. And they all have their various compatibilities. What I've done is made things a lot cooler and better. I made it so you could install one, two, or all three of these at the same time. And you just have to appropriately have the proper command line arguments to run each of the three. And I will show you which of these to do. Anyways, we're going to test out games on all three of the main 2003 cores. And I have all three installed at the same time right now. So we have the Spider-Man, which runs only on the System 32 variant, and we're going to test that out. And it's running. So we have the System 32 variant loaded right now. These System 32 games, if you try running them on Main 2010 and Main 2014, Final Burn Alphas, I mean, they do not run very well. They run so much better on Main 2003, which is why I have the exploited variant of Main 2003 in my core set. So you can run these fantastic games. But Spider Man runs great. We have Jurassic Park and a bunch of other System 32 games that run through here. I'm going to quit here. And if you have uh, just one of the MAME 2003 cores installed, you could use the typical band forward slash MAME 2003 to run any of them. But I also have secondary command line arguments so you can run each of them individually if you have more than one installed at the same time. Another game that was, uh, this runs with the 1.4.18 update, Roga Armor Force. And a few games such as Boogie Wings and this and Night Slashers run with this update. So this is running good. I'm using a second of the main course. And we have that great music again. And you may have seen me doing my Stan Bush spontaneous impression in my one test video for this amazing game in my MAME 2003 compatibility update a couple weeks back. Now we're going to load the third, the final fight variant. And I'm going to show you both ways that you can load these cores. So we're loading up final fight and this is the one that's able to run the OST. And big blue front end and GP Star were responsible for helping getting the code in, embedded in this. And this uses effectively the Sega CD soundtrack in conjunction with the arcade version of Final Fight. It's a, a true sight and sound fest to behold. And we have Guy. I don't have the scan lines uh, enabled right now. I should probably do that. If I exit right now, again, if you run against from the main user interface, this works out exceptionally well. And you have retro arc installed, you go to display, CRT filter, and I'm going to load the same game again. And it's going to have a little bit of a graphical upgrade with the cool niftiness of the CRT filter. This game demands to play, be played with the CRT filter. And of course you can use the custom borders on here too. If I want to use uh, custom borders I would have the XMB borders HMOD installed. I go to settings, on screen display, on screen overlay. In the preset, I would just uh, change it to the Castlevania CFG. You want to load the CFG file. And there we go. 
And I am going to make uh, an H mount so you can add your own custom overlays if you'd like to, guys and gals. That'll be in the next update or two. Yeah, I definitely need to do an arcade bezel for this one. It'd be tremendous having a final fight arcade bezel with this game. Now that everything's said and done, I'm going to show you how to ro you know, run all three of these cords. And you can do it through the dummy folder method, or you can command line them properly to run from the main user interface. But right now, I'm going into the RetroArch icon. Uh, of course, I clicked the game instead, but I could still, once I'm into a game or the RetroArch icon, I can go to Load Core, and you'll notice that the MAME 2003 cores are now designated as Final Fight OST CPS1 variant, MAME 2003 Sega System 32 variant, and MAME 2003 Standard variant. So if I want to run games like Roga and Night Slashers, I'll use the standard and you know the standard variant. If I like to run all the Sega System 32 games, I would use this one. And of course, the Final Fight OST one, I could use this one. And most of these games share the majority of compatibility, but there are a few nuances that are broken in each of them, which is why you may want to run one, two, or all three of them. If you're not concerned with running System 32, but you want to run Final Fight and some standard stuff, install both of those. I mean, you have a myriad of options here, and I'll show you the proper command lines to run these. But right now, I'm going to load the Sega System 32 variant. And I have it loaded. And I'm going to go to low content, my start directory, dummy folder, my main folder. And then I'm going to load a game that I know is definitely System 32. Golden Axe, Death Adder. Yeah, I believe I passed right past it. That'd be GA2 for Golden Axe 2. Load archive. And I'm going to use the current core, the System 32 variant. And we should be good to go once it loads. Typically, if you don't have the proper driver support in here, and it'll you'll have this where it says there are no problems with this game, you'll try a continuing, and it'll crash to the main user interface. But with the exploit, I was able to get into the code way back. It works. But it breaks a few other Sega games. That's why you you know you want to use the various cords to get the best overall compatibility. And don't forget, winners don't use drugs. Nancy Reagan all the way. Mothers against drunk driving, all that 80s stuff there. And where's my dwarf? Oh, there he is. He's riding on the back of this guy. <laughs> this runs way, way better than it would on uh, the later arcade cores. Just remember that. Use the System 32 variant. But now I'm going to go to Load Core and we're going to load uh, the Standard variant. And we have that successfully loaded. I'm going to do the same thing, Load Content. And now we're going to load uh, Roga again to test to make sure that's still working. Going through this list. When I do the dummy folder, you can move up and down to move a little bit slower. You can move left and right to move much faster. I have my phone set up identically to this setup. I'm going to Roga. Here we go, Roga. Armored Force. Load Archive. Current Core. Standard Variant. Which is, again, the one... 4, 18 variant. And we're good to go in here. And if, the, if you have the wrong main version playing and you have encryption, there's not going to be sound. And every time you try starting the game, it's going to reset over and over again. So if you're able to get into the game like I am right now, you have the proper 1, 4, 18 variant running. Okay, lastly, we're going to test out the final fight one. Low core. Final fight OSTCPS1 variant. Load content, start directory, dummy, and we'll go to the Final Fight game. And 
And then I'm going to switch over to the computer and show you the proper command lines you're going to need to run these. If you want to have them 1, 2, or 3 all installed at the same time. Load the game using the Final Fight OSP variant here. And we should be good to go. And there we go. I'm really loving this tremendous Sega CD soundtrack here. I'm gonna have to do this for my arcade series for sure. You wanna know something really, really interesting? If you have CloverCon installed, you could hold down the attack button and push the select button while you're holding it down and you get to do this nifty little thing. And I don't believe I have CloverCon installed right now. <laughs> But if you have Clover Con installed, you'd be doing Turbo Fire. I'll show you in my next video. Now I'm going to switch over to the computer and show you the proper command lines. And you can use the dummy folder if you'd like to load them the way I just did, or you could use the proper command lines and load them through the user interface. I'm going into my modules here. If, for instance, if I want to load Go Next Revenge of Death Adder, which runs through the System32 variant, I'm looking at my core set update here for where I have the modules. I'm going to my three main 2003 modules. You notice the command line here says bin forward slash main 2003 and I have that for all three so you can install one of them and have the games run fine. But if you want to run one or more of them you're going to want to use the dedicated command lines to avoid conflicts. In this case I have bin forward slash main 2003 hyphen SYS32 for system 32. What I'll do right now is I'll change this main 2003 to the proper command line. It says 32, just like that. And when you're done, you're going to want to close Hashi2 to make sure that the command line saved properly. But if I want to run, for instance, the Roga game to the standard one, I do MAME 2003 hyphen standard. If I want to run the one that has the Final Fight variant, I would do MAME 2003 hyphen Final Fight. But again, I'm going to these modules here and looking at all three right in a row. We have the standard one from 1418, and you can do the MAME 2003 hyphen standard. The Final Fight one, we could do MAME 2003 hyphen FFIGHT for Final Fight. Then, of course, we could do the System32 variant with MAME 2003-SYS32. And lastly, people have been asking me, how do you install the samples to run this? What you're going to want to do when you're on the USB host, you're going to want to make the transfer folder, like so. And within that transfer folder, you're going to go into my core set. And this is going to be the 120 update. MAME samples HMOD. Then I'm going to go to the final fight that I had. And I have uh, three different variants of them. Mono, Mono Stereo Mix, and uh, Stereo... Mono uh, USB host. I mean, you can see they're different sizes. I'm going to install the mono one right now. I'll simply copy this. And I'll go into here. Into the MAME 2003 samples directory. And just like that, we're good to go. Now, if you're not on USB host... What I would suggest doing would be extracting this to a folder of the same exact name. 
and you would install this a different way. You just copy this into your user mods folder. But this will make it nice and easy to work with. So I'm letting these extract right now. Because if you install over a certain amount of memory, it's going to trigger an invalid kernel size error. And, with, and you can use FTP to go into this, but I'm going to do this a different way here. I'm just going to go in here. And I'm going to go backwards and delete some of these tracks. I'll delete like uh, everything but 12, for instance. And then I'm just going to rezip it. And you want to send it to a standard zip. And it'll be smaller and easier to manage as far as uh, non-USB host installs. And when that's all compressed, you just install it through the, you know, typical module install terminal. So let's compress the nose real quick. And I would just go into install extra modules, and I would go down... And I would install the main samples module, and that'll throw the sounds over there. And as soon as they're read via the final fight core, the game will load. So it's compressing that, and when it's all said and done, just delete the folder. And you can do this until you find the right size that'll install. Or you can run through USB host and use any of the three. I mean, you have uh, many, many options, and if you guys and gals have any difficulty, feel free to ask, and I will help you out step-by-step step with anything you're having difficulty with running this exceptionally awesome Sega CD game here. But hope you enjoyed uh, the video, and this will be in the next Core Set update, along with the Intellivision Core and a few other surprises.